inventory of inflectional morphology types. So, what are the ways in which speakers inflect or bent lexeme to make them fit into the syntactic slots? So, that is the question. Here we are going to present a list of uh, the inflections. Though this list is not a comprehensive one, but at least it will give us an idea that how many types in, of inflections uh, are there. Affixation as stem, alternation. It's a most common one. Uh, it's a common inflectional categories. We present it with stem alternation, another means of expressing inflection in the words language languages. We wish to emphasize that just as affixation does not necessarily occur with stem alternation, it sometimes happens without any alternation in the stem. Stem alternation do not necessarily occur with affixation, so it's vice versa. We present them together merely for organizational purpose. I mean, uh, in an instance where they take place together. Latin is a language, so we have taken uh, an example from Latin language where in many cases affixation interacts obligatorily, obligatorily with stem alternation in the expression of inflectional categories. Rexisti EU rules. So, Rex is the perfective uh, stem, right? It tells us that something has taken place as we do with the uh, past participle. And we can contrast it with the present stem, which is reg, right? So it is attached with the, uh, uh, with the root. Another aspect of inflectional morphology types is apophony. In some cases, a fixation is supplemented or replaced by apophony. It's a vowel changes. It's a vowel changes change within the root, as uh, we can have example from the uh, languages uh, from this uh, Bernese dialect of Swiss German, and obviously from English. For uh, to give you an idea, as we have sings, sang, and sang, and similarly drive, drove, and driven but let's look we can see that these instances are of apophony similarly we can have some more example from the bernese dialect of swiss german so sufi drink and drinking this sufi drunk so this is how participle the there is an internal vowel change in in the cases english in english as well as in that uh, Bernese dialect. Similarly, Chuemi swim and Chueum me swam. So you can see the instance of vowel change. Fifi whistle, it's an infinitive, and Fifi uh, whistled past tense. So the internal cha uh, vowel change. Other terms for apophony are internal change and particularly when referring to English and other Germanic language is ablaut. Ablaut is a, another case of uh, vowel change. All three of these terms are sometimes applied to vowel changes that apply to roots in Semitic languages especially. In the context of Germanic linguistics, ablaut is often reserved for apophony in verbs paradigms. I mean, different forms of the verb as we have just seen uh, in the uh, Bernimis. A second term, umlaut, is used to describe the apophony found in singular plural form pairs. For example, we have goose and in plural we have geese. We have foot and in plural we have feet. Umlaut is a phonological condition. So, the phonology of the word has, there is an internal change, uh, the sound is changed. 
that conditioned alternation in which a vowel assimilates in part to a succeeding vowels. The term is used even when the succeeding vowel has been lost. I mean, sometimes the because uh, during the great vowel changes, these things uh, took place when the su uh, succeeding vowel changed and the 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 changed vowel remained in the word. For example, uh, goose and geese and foot and feet result from vowel harmony with a high vowel in the plural suffix, right? So the uh, the change that took place remained, but the vowel that changed, the the, the vowel that came before it was dis, uh, was uh, removed from the language, and he the vowel that uh, the vowel got disappeared from the word, right? So these are different uh, aspects of uh, uh, inflections that how inflections work in the formation of different. Uh, words, how it sometimes interacts with the root and sometimes simply affixes are adjusted with the nouns, with the verbs and sometimes there takes place some internal vowel change. It takes place differently in different languages.